Hey, Teddy K here for Best Buy Plugin, and in this video review, we're going to take a look at the Insignia Flex 11.6 inch 2 in 1 convertible Windows tablet. That's a mouthful. But there is a fair amount going on here, although this isn't a device that's necessarily going to be matched up with the best 2 in 1 convertibles out there. So your expectations are going to have to be a little measured here because. This is a device that I think is in the more affordable category as opposed to what you would consider elite, at least for Windows 10 tablets. So this does run Windows 10 Home, uh, which is great. It's a desktop version of the, of the operating system, and that means that you can run desktop apps on it relatively easily. But obviously one of the standout things here is going to be the keyboard, one of the very reasons why this is a two-in-one convertible in the first place. Now, it's not backlit, so you're not going to be able to see the keys in the dark like you would with some other units but the keys are pretty responsive they're not as recessed hence why the device itself is not as thin perhaps as some of the other units that are out there on the market but they're responsive and it's fairly easy to type on them I got it took a little time to get used to it but once I got the handle of it I liked it I also like the trackpad a lot too I, I, I was surprised at how responsive it was uh, and you can change the sensitivity on it as well using Windows of course, being a two-in-one convertible means that you can separate the two, so the tablet can become a standalone tablet away from the keyboard, if you so want. Now, Windows, of course, has a setting for this. Now, just as taking off the screen, if you try to pull it off in the middle, it won't work, right? Because the latches are on the sides. The magnetic latches that keep it in place are on the sides. So you got to go from either side to take it off relatively easy putting it back on I wish was a little bit easier it's, it's not bad but once you have it in there you kinda know that you've got it in place and then of course Windows sometimes uh, gives you an audible uh, alert as well just gonna show you the latch here a little bit quicker there's you got the, uh, the the pin connector in the middle and here's just a quick uh, look at the latch as you can see nothing special there just a basic magnet but pretty sturdy though it keeps it in place and uh, what more can you want right that's basically what you need and closing it up is pretty straightforward too so if you want to carry it around or you want to close it up put it to sleep it's as simple as just closing it up like you would a laptop and that's it so that's how it looks when it's closed and just to point out a couple quick things here so I mentioned that the that Windows shows you or asks you if you want to go into tablet mode so there's that, that visual cue as to whether or not you want to change so if I say yes then see how that the screen changed so the web browser then went full screen and also the interface changes a little bit too so now if I press the, the Windows home key the the desktop looks a little different than it does in what we would consider desktop mode now I want to get into battery life a little bit here because this is a, a, a critical factor so notice here now 73 percent left 11 hours now 40 percent screen brightness which is not bad if you're in a darker setting like I'm in here, but in brighter light, you're going to have to pump that up a little bit. Now, notice when I do that. So if I go to a higher number, I'm going to show you in a second here what happens. So now as the unit has made the adjustments, so I've gone to 100% and now I'm down to 4 hours, right? You don't have to be at 100%. That's pretty high. I mean, it not naturally, it is going to take a lot of battery up, but it is something to consider if you're going to use this for a longer period of time and if you want to go all day now just to show here to go in portrait mode now for a tablet that's this wide again this is an 11.6 inch screen and it is kind of long when you go portrait but reading content is really cool in that mode okay so together here we have the two flex devices now why why are we bringing these together so what I want to point out here and bringing these here is that the 11.6 inch is really the productivity device. The 8 inch is more of a consumption device. I don't, I don't think that there's any way that you can get the same amount of work done with the 8 inch that you would with the 11.6 inch. Uh, I like the screen resolution. Obviously, it's 1080p on the 11 inch. It's uh, 720p on the 8 inch. And so not only do you have the extra screen real estate, but you got the keyboard and you also have I would say an easier time running certain apps on the eight, on the 11 inch excuse me than the 8 inch otherwise the devices are very similar so certain internal components are the same right now obviously the keyboard is a big big difference between these two but 
Uh, I would argue that the screen is, the battery life is going to be better overall on the 11 inch as well, whereas the 8 inch does have some issues. I found the Wi-Fi connection to be better on the 11 inch as well. But here, there you have it. Those are the two of them together. And that is the Insignia 11.6 inch Flex Tablet. For Best Buy Plugin, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.